make similar figures, side lengths, and angle measures. So similar figures have this, I'll draw two similar figures together. They are basically the same shape, meaning they have all the same corresponding angles like this and proportional side lengths, right? So if this is half as big as this, then this is half as big as this, and this is half as big as this, et cetera. So not exactly the same size, but they're really similar. Sorry, I couldn't think of a better word. All right, so this is gonna be the same angle as this, if you, if you rotate it like a little bit that way. So 72 degrees because it says these two figures are similar. Okay, so if these figures are similar, right, they're not drawing them to scale, right? So if this is 28, that's gonna match this 14, right? So it'd be 28 is to 14, what question mark is to 36? So let's simplify that down. That's just two over one. Then we can multiply by 36. We could cross multiply if we want. So 36 times two equals question mark. So 72. I mean, look, this is, tw this is twice as big as that. So this is twice as big as that, right? So it should be 72. If these two figures are similar, what is the measure of the missing length? Okay, so 59 is to 177 as 39, I guess I should use different shapes here, 39 is to question mark. So we can cross multiply. Before we cross multiply, we should simplify, right? That should just be a one and a three. So we end up with question mark equals 39 times three. 39 times three is 117. So 117, and the reason being, just to do this again, 117 is just three times that. 177 is three times that. That's what we mean by similar. Okay, what is the measure of the missing length? All right, so we get the hang of it. 195 over 65 should equal question mark over 28. Okay, so this is just three over one. 65 goes into 195 three times, equals question mark over 28. So we can cross multiply and get question mark equals 84. And just do a concept check here. That's three times that. So that should be three times that. Okay. Uh, yeah. And 60, 24, yep, 84. If the two figures are similar, what is the measure of the missing length? Okay, so this is 29, right, and 65, they're, they're gonna be the same. So we have 195 is to 65. As question mark is to 29. Is that a 29? Yeah, question mark goes to 29. Okay, so this is, again, three over one. 
So when we cross multiply, we'll get three times 29, which will be question mark equals 87. So it should be 87. And the logic for that is Twenty nine times three is eighty seven. Sixty five times three is one ninety five. Eighty seven. What is the measure of the missing length? Okay. Uh, we'll just we'll do this one a little bit faster, right? That's sixty one, right? Sixty one times two is one twenty two. So 37 times two is whatever this length is, but that's the same as question mark. So what's 37 times two? 74. So the answer is 74. Okay, same idea, but different shapes. So this is matching with this. This will match with this. So 14 times 3 is 42. So 32 times 3 is question mark, but 32 times 3 is 96. All right, so we're looking for this. And so 65 times 3 is 195. 28 times 3 will be that question mark. So that'll be 84. What is the measure of the missing angle? This is easier, right? Because it's just matching these angles together, right? So we'll be matching 69 degrees with question mark. And finally, what's the measure of the missing angle? Again, simple enough. They're the same. So it should be 107 degrees. Okay, maybe there's some similar shapes in your life, like your bed and your parents' bed, or a small TV and a big TV. They might not actually be exactly similar. Um, because the proportions of the sides matter. So maybe you can kind of measure your computer monitor and your TV and see if they're similar shapes. All right, see you guys.